In our top stories in our Smart Start for Monday, a city resident from Rochester is in the hospital after a crash in the Maplewood neighborhood over the weekend. It happened just before 4 Sunday afternoon at Mount Reed Boulevard and Driving Park Avenue. On scene, there were two cars getting towed away when we were there. One had airbags deployed. The other had a lot of damage there on the front end as it was getting up on the truck bed. One passenger, a 64-year-old, police say had to be pulled out with the help of firefighters. That person was taken to the hospital and is expected to make a recovery. No other injuries reported. Police say drugs and alcohol do not appear to be factors. A young man is dead after a stabbing at an apartment complex here in the city. That happened at EL Tower on South Avenue shortly after 2 a.m. Sunday. Officers found the man there in his 20s laying on the fourth floor hallway stabbed in the chest. He died at the hospital. Police say a tenant of the building did admit to the stabbing and argued it was in self-defense. That person remained cooperative on scene and provided a statement when interviewed. The man killed was a guest of the tenant, not a resident. This case is now going before the grand jury for further review, but no charges have been filed as of this morning. To a 36-year-old man shot on Seabrook Street near Joseph Avenue, RPD found the victim just after 10.30 Sunday morning. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to live. If you have any leads on that shooting, RPD wants you to please immediately reach out to 911 or major crimes. Monroe County deputies need your help this morning to find this missing teen from West Henrietta. 16-year-old Joseph Buholtz hasn't been seen since he was someone saw him on a kinglet drive on a red bike he's 5'8 120 there's his photo when he disappeared he had on a blue coat black pants and brown boots if you know anything about his whereabouts 16 year old joseph buholtz please call 911. an early check there of your morning forecast with james's holiday week in the view from our camera some nice twilight here yeah early on it's chilly though yes it is uh, temperatures below freezing yep. so dress for that especially if you have to you're out uh, waiting at a bus stop something like that uh, you will uh, feel it a uh, little bit of a Wind makes it feel like the upper 20s there. 31 in Rochester, Dansville 31 as well. Penyon sitting right at 30 degrees. Uh, we do expect clouds to increase and then eventually rain to work its way in tonight. So that's uh, system number one. System number two, close to the holiday Thanksgiving. Eight day forecast at the end of the show. Brennan, how are the uh, roads looking this morning? They are clear so far. James, our sunrise traffic, the view from our Greater Rock Sky Eye, but heavy traffic volume. This is not what we usually see at this this point in the morning means people getting out on that holiday trip early runs to the store. We will check sunrise traffic again at about 725. Back to our headlines and happening today. Sentencing is scheduled for one of two women arrested for a deadly shooting in Rochester. Police found the victim in this case, 42 year old Lenard Davis dead behind the wheel of a car at the scene of a crash on Congress Avenue in September 2022. At the time of the shooting, there was a woman and a 10 year old in the car with him. Police later identified 36 year old Dominique Glenn as one suspect. Police say Glenn shot Davis at a family gathering and took off to Atlanta with another woman, Shaquilla Lindsay. Both were eventually caught in charge with murder and criminal possession of a weapon. Lindsay's sentencing is scheduled at 930. This afternoon, three men charged in a Greece kidnapping case are due in court for an arraignment. Back in September, police say Jaquan Martin forced a 13 year old boy to undress, took his phone and used scissors to cut his hair all at gunpoint at the Glenora Garden apartment complex. They say officers found the boy naked in a car with two other suspects, Mike Juan and Lennis Williams, all three due in court at 1.30 to answer to kidnapping and weapons charges. Today, the trial picks up again for the man accused of shooting and injuring East Rochester police officer Brad Steve earlier this year. In January, Steve and a fellow officer responded to Garfield Street for a domestic call. Authorities say they found 51-year-old Raymond Noel in the driveway of a home with a gun. They ordered him to get his hands out of his pockets. Instead, officers say Noel went to go back inside, then aimed a gun at Steve. The officer fired first, hitting the suspect. Police say Noel then fired multiple shots back, wounding Steve. The trial resumes at 930. A man accused of shooting another man to death on Genesee Street in the city last year is also scheduled for a court appearance. Police say 21 year old Stefan Jefferson shot and killed 38 year old Dwayne Hall Jr. during a fight in July 2023. Investigators say the two used to live in the same neighborhood and believe the homicide stemmed from an ongoing dispute. Jefferson was charged with murder and criminal possession of a weapon. He previously pleaded not guilty. He's due in court again at 930. 
In a health alert, local health officials are reporting a spike in cases of whooping cough around the country. It is a disease that starts with cold-like symptoms, a runny nose, low-grade fever, and congestion. And then it gets worse, turns into a cough that becomes become so aggressive it basically takes your breath away and it can be very serious with the youngest patients. The biggest concern for me as a pediatrician actually is the young infant, the infant under a year of age, because those children can get enough uh, complications, not just from the hoop and the cough itself, but pneumonia, uh, breathing pauses, and rarely death. Sometimes the cough is so violent in older kids or adults that uh, we've heard of people breaking ribs with their coughs. So it's really a disease that's sort of nasty and that we wish to avoid. That's why it's so important to get the routine immunizations that children do. Other ways to try to prevent yourself contracting the disease is covering your nose when coughing and sneezing, washing your hands, and of course, staying away from those who are sick. The travel crunch is on. The country getting ready for more record-breaking numbers for Thanksgiving this holiday week. If you're going somewhere, you will have a lot of company about 79 million or so other people on the move this holiday besides you and your family. That number would be a record high, close to 80 million and nearly one quarter of the whole U.S. population. You will be seeing more state troopers running checkpoints as they do each year through Sunday with their holiday crackdown. Last year for Thanksgiving, troopers made more than 1,300 DWI arrests around New York. They gave out more than 7,600 speeding tickets and about 1,000 tickets for distracted drivers. If you are on something besides the major roads, you'll see more law enforcement there. Local departments and state police working together. Last year, together, they issued more than 35,000 tickets for the whole holiday crackdown. Grocery stores are packed with shoppers picking up everything for the big feast, and prices are down a bit this year, providing some good news compared to holidays post-pandemic recent Thanksgivings. Aran Spitzer joins us live in studio with some tips on how to snag another good deal last minute. Aran. Brennan, this is one of the biggest weeks for retailers and local grocery stores, but it often comes with a hefty price tag. That's why those selling supplies for the perfect meal are offering discounts to help out customers. Big M Supermarket in North Gates is ready for the surge in demand by ensuring their shelves are fully stocked and their baking and meat departments are well prepared. The cost of Thanksgiving dinner this year has decreased by 2% since last year, but it's still higher than it was five years ago. That's why many retailers are enticing customers with discounted or complimentary turkeys with qualifying purchases. At the Gates store, shoppers can receive a free frozen 20-pound turkey when they spend $100. Now, this is a strategy they believe will help keep expenses manageable for customers. They really appreciate it because, you know, they're, they're spending money on the sides and, you know, all the other stuff that goes with the meal. It's not you know, it's hard to do, especially when you're cooking a big dinner for everybody to get their $100 purchase. So it's just kind of no-brainer to come and get your free turkey while you're buying everything else. So. They expect the peak shopping time will be tomorrow and Wednesday, so the earlier you can get out, the better. Brennan? That you got to pay for. Local leaders, though, are partnering up with West Her Auditorium Theater, giving out 1,500 turkeys to families beginning this morning. This year, in all for the turkeys, more than $100,000 worth, plus 5,000 bags of food will be part of the giveaway. That begins at 10 o'clock right here downtown at RBTL, as long as they have supplies. Swing on by, get everything ready, and then uh, get yeah. that bird to thawing. Yes, yep. right. So get it in the fridge there and uh, try to thaw it as quick as you can. The last thing you want is on Wednesday, dumping cold water on yeah. a turkey. It just right? doesn't work. It's not the same. Yeah, no, it really isn't. And uh, so as we do our preparations, final days of school here, we've got some warmth today and tomorrow and some rain in there as well. Uh, tomorrow we're flying a kite, gusts uh, near 40 miles per hour. Uh, and then Wednesday and into Thursday. That's the day we're watching. Could be some snow showers around for the day, Thanksgiving, and uh, I think I'm going to have to get my winter jacket out by next week. Oh, everyone, you're going to the Bills 49ers game Sunday night. Yeah. How about that to Oof. kick off December? We'll see you back here at 725. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, X, and on our app for news and weather.